The Switch has been out for three years now, and in that time, we've been spoilt for choice with some truly incredible titles. But you probably won't have time to play through the 3,500 strong library to find your favourite. So the team at Switch Player Magazine has put their heads together to bring you the definitive list of the top 40 games you can find on the Nintendo Switch. In this episode, we're entering the home stretch and are counting down our top 10 games. So prepare yourselves because it's about to get interesting. Let's be off. Originally released in 1993 on the Game Boy, Link's Awakening's age was showing somewhat, with its gameplay impacted by the original's hardware limitations. Thankfully, it has been lavishly brought up to date with this glorious remaster. With more buttons, better visuals and a more emphatic musical arrangement alongside that brilliant story, it's just like you remember, but better. <laughs> Your quest is simple. Acquire the eight instruments needed to awaken the windfish so that you can escape the surrealist surroundings that make up Coho Lind Island. It's an immaculate experience, and if you've played it before, even better on the Switch. Nintendo have a knack for taking something that shouldn't work, or something that sounds ludicrous, and absolutely knocking it out of the park. A third-person shooter where you transition between a squid and a humanoid, sliding around in a mass of paint? Yeah, Splatoon 2 is so much more than that, and then some. With an excellent single-player campaign, loads of multiplayer modes, and even bigger DLC, it's easily the best shooter on the Switch. It's so much fun, has so much going for it, and we simply can't stop playing it. This is a game you need to play. Sometimes a game comes along that touches you in a way you didn't expect. And for many, Celeste is such a title. Developed by Matt Makes Games, Celeste is a punishing platformer that follows the story of Madeline as she climbs Celeste Mountain. Brought to life using a beautiful pixel art style and accompanied by the music of Lena Rain, the game explores mental illness in a surprising yet sensitive manner. The culmination is an experience that is as much about rediscovering our own self-worth as it is about beating the game. An incredible triumph of design and narrative. With the latest entry in the Super Smash Bros series, the word ultimate just doesn't seem to cut it. Already a cult favourite among fans the world over, Super Smash Bros has been punching above the rest of the brawlers for quite some time now, yet that wasn't enough for game director Masahiro Sakurai. Our Switch player review stated that this is undoubtedly the pinnacle of the series, and quite possibly, this could well be the pinnacle of any series ever. It's a must-have for any Nintendo fan, and it's a testament to Sakurai's vision that if this is the last we see of Super Smash Bros, it is all that we could have hoped for. When it comes to games, crowdfunding has had its fair share of failures, but Hollow Knight is a wonderful exception. Born out of a Kickstarter campaign, Team Cherry's stunning Metroidvania tells the story of a community of bugs under siege from a mysterious infection as an unnamed hero battles to save them. Highly praised by players and the gaming industry alike for its game design and aesthetic, the indie title has amassed a loyal following. And fans are now eagerly awaiting the release of Silk Song, a fully-fledged sequel expected to release later this year. Regardless of the ups and downs that Pokemon Sword and Shield had pre-release, we were finally able to get our hands on the newest generation of Pocket Monsters, and it was something that our staff truly enjoyed. Well, except reviewer Oliver. With the introduction of Dynamaxing and the Wild Area, this was an entry with several new ways to play, whilst mostly sticking to the traditional tried-and-true formula. We can't help but ask ourselves what the next step will be for this series, but for now, we were glad to get a hold of Pokemon Sword and Shield in 2019. The Animal Crossing series is synonymous with all that we hold dear as video game enthusiasts. 
It's wholesome, light-hearted and steeped in strategy. Whilst it could not have come at a better time given the current climate, we are not ones to be swayed easily. It speaks volumes about the quality of New Horizons that it has made it into our top 5 Switch games a mere month after its release. It's everything we thought it would be and then some, receiving the coveted 5 stars in our recent review. It may be a game for right now, but it is also one for the foreseeable future too. A masterclass in kart races and almost easily the best in the series so far, Mario Kart 8 Deluxe takes everything that the Wii U version did and improves on it, adding in extra tracks, races and the complete battle mode that we all wanted. The controls are perfect, the visuals are among some of the best the Switch has to offer with its limited power, and the tournaments are still, years later, some of the best ways to play together in a community of friends. Just don't expect to stay friends after throwing that blue shell. In years from now, the word masterpiece in the dictionary may well feature the box art for Super Mario Odyssey. It's just that good. Arguably Mario's finest adventure ever, it's an incredible experience and Cappy's mechanics just enhance the acrobatic nature of our favourite plumber. Packed with secrets and surprises, we will guarantee that some of your favourite Switch moments will come from this game. With more fan service than you can imagine, you won't stop smiling. By the very definition, it's a masterpiece. Tell me the truth. How proficient are you right now wielding that sword on your back? Legend says that an ancient voice resonates inside it. Can you hear it yet, hero? As the last decade drew to a close, talk of the best game of the last 10 years was rampant. The fact that The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild was among the discussions of many says it all really. For die-hard Nintendo fans, it was exactly what they needed to convince others of Nintendo's prowess. For those new to all things Nintendo, it was the perfect introduction. Here at Switch Player, we believe it is the best Switch game to date, and it is difficult to see how it will ever be knocked from the top spot. Breath of the Wild 2 may have something to say about that though. So that's our countdown of the top 40 games on the Nintendo Switch. What are your favourite games on the system? Let us know in the comments below. And don't forget you can support us on Patreon to get a copy of our print magazine for only $4.